The AJ-10 is one of the earliest and most widely used rocket engines produced in the United States. Development of the AJ-10 started in the mid-1950s by Aerojet. It was designed to be used on the ABLE rocket stage. The first use of the ABLE stage was on the Vanguard rocket. The AJ-10 saw its first successful flight in 1958 on the third attempt to launch Vanguard. The ABLE stage was also used as an upper stage on certain configurations of both the Thor and the Atlas rockets. The AJ-10 has many different versions. Each version has slightly different thrust, specific impulse, and even different fuels, but all versions of the AJ-10 are based on the same basic design. They are all relatively low thrust, producing between 30 and 40 kilonewtons, and all use storable hypergolic fuels such as nitric acid paired with UDMH or N204 paired with aerosene 50. All versions of the AJ-10 are pressure-fed, meaning there are no pumps and the fuel is pushed into the engine by keeping the tanks at high pressure. As a result, the AJ-10 has a more simple overall design than most other rockets, having fewer moving parts, but also has lower thrust and slightly lower efficiency. After its first use on the Vanguard, Thor, and Atlas rockets, the engine saw extensive use on the Delta family of rockets. A version of the engine was used on the Apollo service module. This was the AJ-10's first use on a manned spacecraft. The AJ-10 was used for almost every orbital maneuver on the Apollo missions, including the Apollo-Soyuz test project, as well as the three manned Skylab missions. After the end of Apollo, the AJ-10 continued its service on the Titan III, which used two AJ-10s on its trans-stage upper stage. The orbital maneuvering system on the space shuttle also used a pair of AJ-10s, which were used for placing the shuttle into its final orbit after the main engines cut off. Even after the shuttle's retirement, the engine is still in service on the Delta II rocket, with its last flight scheduled for 2017. This makes the AJ-10 one of the longest operating engines in history, with almost 60 years of continuous use. This record is only bested by the RD-107 and RD-108 used on the R-7 family of rockets. The streak will continue after the Delta II retirement as the engine is set to be used on the service module for Orion. AJ-10 also belongs to a small group of engines which have seen reusability due to its use on the shuttle. In fact, the first few flights of Orion will use AJ-10s taken directly from the space shuttle inventory. Over the greater part of a century, the AJ-10 has become a reliable and dependable rocket engine, and has always been an important part of American space exploration.